Welcome Pisces. I'm back y'all with another video. Alright, so let's talk. Let's just go ahead and jump in with the messages of Love Oracle Tech. We're going to get a couple messages from there. We're going to keep it moving. Alright, however spirit leads us to get the message across. Pisces. Give me a message for the Pisces, please. What's going on with Pisces in love? What's going on with Pisces in love? All right, so someone wants to tell you how they feel. Someone wants to tell you how they feel. They knew exactly what they was doing, whatever they did. And this person's life is not together as it seems. They could feel like you, um, they could try to leave you before you leave them. Um, it looks like they're afraid because it's like now they're starting to understand the connection a little bit more. But before they were afraid and they may have left you before you could leave them. And their life is not together. But they want to talk to you about it. I know that I crossed the line with you. Mm -hmm. This person knows that they crossed a line with you, Pisces. All right. So let's see what else they want to say. This person know that they messed up. This person crossed the boundary. They went to the point of no return with you. Now they want to talk to you. They want to you know, have this conversation with you. So you may not have been in communication with this person. All right, what else does this person want to say to Pisces? What does this person want to say to Pisces? I can't let go of the past. So this person, <laughs> they can't let go of the past. They're still holding on to you. They're still holding on to you or holding on to something that happened in the past. They haven't let something that happened in the past go. So this person sounds like either a grudge holder or they're still holding on to you. I know what I need to do. And then we got, I'm going to give you an offer, an offer soon. So this person could be working out some things to try to get you an offer. Um, when they communicate with you. But this person is still holding on to the past. Give me one more card. Well, I got two more. Let me take the lead. I want to meet up with you. All right. So this person is going. Is coming towards you. After a period of... Um, <laughs> after a period of silence, what it seems like to me. And this person is wanting to know, like, are you going to listen to me? Are you going to hear my side, what I have to say? This person could have been dreaming about you. They've been seeing signs about you everywhere. But I feel like they're avoiding the connection. Because others are possibly trying to tell them what to do. Okay? All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's go to the in my in my feelings deck here. And let's see what this person could be feeling. What is this person's feelings for Pisces? What is this person feeling for Pisces? What is this person feeling for Pisces? All right, we have, this is my happy place. So, what's, what once was a happy place seems now like it's a tense, it's tense, it's, it's uncomfortable to be around. So, this person could feel uncomfortable being around you because someone's upset. Look at the little birdie finger. <laughs> Somebody thinks that something is funny, okay? But what once was a happy place is now, like, it's tense. So this person feels tense when they come around you. Like, they don't feel 
comfortable for whatever reason. They don't feel comfortable. All right? Yeah, they feel guilty about something. They feel guilty about something that happened. They got guilty. Yeah, the person just feel guilty about something. Something that happened. And this is why they are avoiding the connection. So, yeah. We got home and clear-headed. So, this... Somebody is definitely upset. This person could be upset with you. So, this person may um, be taking time out to clear their head. They need time to clear their head because they are definitely upset about something. Maybe they see you being a little too happy while they're over here being tensed about, about a situation. But this person could be like watching you and seeing you amused and happy, smiling. And they're like, really? I get that this person is uncomfortable. Like they don't they don't feel comfortable around you because they're guilty. They're guilty about something. They don't even feel comfortable coming around you. Who is this person? Tell me more about this person. Person towards towards who is this person? Tell me what's going on with this person. Show me their energy. Ooh, ooh. All right, so a lot of cards jumped out, but this one turned over. So we're going to take the seven of cups. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the nine of wands and the knight of pentacles, king of wands. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here, or an Aquarius, or Gemini. All right, so this person can't make up their mind. They either couldn't make up their mind or they can't, they haven't made up their mind yet on what's the best move for them. And this is uh, something that they want to communicate with you about. Um, so tell me about the stars here. This person is hoping for, hoping that this person praying that they prayed on this. Like this is something that was hard for them to do. This person is praying. This person prayed on this. Tell me why the temperance is here. The king of wands. Some of y'all could be dealing with Sagittarius. This person was praying that you come back. Could be a Leo. This person is being very, is being very patient, but they had to cut somebody off king of swords and the seven of cups they had to make a they had to make a solid decision but when they made this decision they still was unsure there was a person saying i did the best that i could but i know i messed up Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. There could, there could be two people here that are involved. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be a female. The challenge is them, they're trying to hold on to these two people. Okay? They're trying to hold on to these other people. And out of the blue, this person could have out of the blue walked out on you.
Why the Ace of Swords here? Five of Pentacles. This person left out details. They left out a lot of details. So that's just the same thing as lying. Queen of Cups. Yeah. They left. This person had you in the dark. Okay. I feel like you either found out the truth already or you're ready to, you're, the truth is getting ready to come out. I'm getting a karmic cycle. This person wanted to see what you was going to do. Um, but they left out a lot of details. Okay. Now we got the lovers here in the past and a three of wands. This person was taking their time making, making this decision. And I feel like they had other people in the cut. Somebody had to get cut off. It was like a process of elimination. Um, they struggled. They struggled with this. Why is the three ones here? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. This person was waiting on you, waiting for you to make the decision. They didn't want to make the decision. They wanted you to make the decision. Why is the five of swords here? the tower and the five of swords all right there's this tower moment coming up ahead the eight of swords all right so this person is feeling like yeah there's some type of drama coming ahead some type of competition, argument, disagreement. Okay, there's some spying going on. And it, um, why is the five of wands here? Yeah, there's a little bit of com com competition here. Okay. Um, there's this a tower moment. There looks like there's some disagreements headed, coming ahead. This person just didn't think that the, this person just didn't think that something was right or fair. They've been watching you. Somebody's been cheating. Maybe y'all both were cheating. So they just feel like something was fair. So it seemed like they're trying to even out the scales. over here focusing on yourself you do, you're over here doing just fine two of cups six of wands knight of cups you are over here doing just fine till this person came along with their secrets and hiding their emotions and their feelings and lying and being sneaky okay so This person feel like you made them run off with someone else. This person got tired of being disappointed. This person also got tired of not having any money. Um, so they were in their own little selfish little energy over here. But it looks like this person... Like this person wants to trying to find a way to start a conversation with you. Take the wands, the world, and the ace of wands. This, this person coming in slow because they have regrets. So they're coming in slow. They have regrets. They feel bad about how things ended. Um, yep. This person um, wants to be the bigger person and, you know, Talk it out. Try to find a way, um, you know, to talk about it. 
their guard is still going to be up. Um, their guard is going to be up. But I feel like this person, you know, does want to communicate with you. This doesn't say that they want to come back or they want to get back in bed with you or get back in a relationship. It just looks like this person made a decision, an impulsive decision or something that they had to think about and they just made a quick decision on. They just don't like the way things ended between you two. All right. Let's see this person's intentions towards you. What is this person's intentions towards my Pisces? All right, we got kisses. Unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. I'm getting a chaser and a running. This could be a twin flame energy. Somebody's chasing and somebody's running. But uh, there's this person is definitely watching you. They're watching every move you make. Yeah, they, um, they want to get some clarity. They want the truth to come out. Possibly someone could be married here. Um... Or someone is living together or there's like a, a situation that feels like a marriage. They want to bring some clarity to the situation. We got the Phoenix. A new phase. Rekindle. Renew. Transformation. Growth. Change. Mind. Okay. So it looks like this person's wearing a mask. Okay. They want to take this mask off. They feel like it's time to take the mask off. Okay. And make better choices. Um, they have to cut off a soulmate. Maybe, um, they look at you as a soulmate. They look at you as a soulmate, but there looks like there had to be a separation or someone had to sever ties. So they, I feel like they feel like they had to sever ties for whatever reason. They're coming to bring in that clarity. We got camera. All right, so reminiscing, keepsake, learn from the past, and making memories. They could be looking at old pictures um, from when you guys were in love. But this person is trying to, like, heal. They got a healing heart. Healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, so they could feel like, you know, time has gone by. We've healed from the situation. Now, you know, we can address it. We got the Grim Reaper, okay? This could be possibly an ending, a total ending. Now, it looks like, like I said, it's time for, you know, the hand to be shown. Because I feel like this person wasn't showing their hand. They were hiding their hand. Um, I feel like with clock here, that's just saying, like, it's time for the hand, each other's hands to be shown, okay? Let's go ahead and put it out there. I'm just going ahead and put it out there. Show your hand. All right. So yes, this person is mirroring you. If you do, if you're moving on, then this person is mirroring that energy as well. But this person could be addicted to you. They have some type of codependent towards you, obsession, possession, control. They want to control you. Um, they want to restrain you. This person has some type of addiction towards you. But they could be in a karmic relationship. What it looks like, the time to, to put the cards out on the table to show the hand is now. They could be coming to you telling you that they are either in a karmic relationship right now. Tell me more about this karmic relationship. Self-indulgent, yeah. They're, they're doing this for themselves. This is a, a selfish act. The situation that they're in right now is definitely like a karmic uh, energy. They're focusing on themselves. They're trying to heal. They, they did this for themselves. This person says that they aren't going to chase you. The Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper and the Chasers here. Maybe you haven't chased this person. 
They could feel like you haven't ch reached out or you aren't trying to chase them. But I feel like this is their energy saying that they don't want to chase. They don't want to run after the situation or they don't want to run from the situation anymore. They're looking at your photographs. They're missing you and they have nostalgia about you. They're looking at your growth. It looks like you have grown. You and this person could be twin flames. But definitely, a, we got X and healthy choices and girl with a snake. Now, this X is a breakup, separation, stopping some type of pattern, silent treatment, or abandon. This person had to use this X in order to be happy. This person had to cut you off in order to be happy. Damn, that's the message that I got for you, Pisces. If this message resonated with you guys, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, ciao for now.